Today, we will compare two well-known video editing software called CapCut and After Effects. One comes from a lineup of heavy-duty creative software and has been a top pick for film studios, pro editors, and agencies. The other? It shows up with zero cost, and yet somehow, it's got people saying they don't even need the expensive one anymore. We've been using these tools because we wanted to see what works best. So in this video, we're laying it all out, side by side, and letting you decide what fits your style best. Let's get started. The way a software looks and feels can really shape your editing. When you open CapCut, it doesn't feel overwhelming. Everything's clean, simple, and labeled so you don't have to guess what's what. Whether you're on your phone or desktop, it stays the same, friendly and clear. And switching between those two is super easy. No need to relearn anything. Now, if we switch over to After Effects, it tells a different story. It looks like a command center from a sci-fi movie, packed with panels, layers, timelines, and menus. That's not a bad thing, but it does mean you've got to sit with it, learn it, maybe even Google things every step of the way. So while CapCut is like chatting with a friend, After Effects is more like learning a new language. So now that we've got a feel for how they greet us when we open them up, let's look deeper into what they actually offer. When you're starting out with editing, it's the basics that matter most. CapCut makes cutting, trimming, and arranging clips feel really smooth. You drag your clips onto the timeline, you tap to trim, and everything just responds fast. Even if you're editing on your phone, it still gives you the full timeline layout, which is rare for mobile editors. And if you're someone who edits on the go, that's a big deal. After Effects, on the other hand, doesn't actually focus much on cutting or trimming. It's not built as a full video editor in that way. That's usually Premiere Pro's job. In After Effects, you're not just trimming scenes. You're layering them, animating them, and using timelines more like animation boards. So if you're just looking to piece together clips, it's a bit overkill. So for day-to-day -day video cutting and quick edits, CapCut wins that one easily, but that's only the beginning. Before we move on, just a quick reminder. On this channel, we cover useful tools for content creators. Many of you enjoy the content but often forget to support us. So if you're finding this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here's where things start heating up. CapCut, even though it looks super simple on the surface, actually lets you add keyframes. That means you can animate almost anything, from scaling an image, rotating text, to creating light sweep effects. It even lets you ease keyframes with a couple of taps, so your movements don't look robotic. That used to be something only high-end editors could do. But with After Effects, animation is what it's built for. Keyframes are the heart of it. You don't just move things, you control their speed, their path, their curve. You can animate every pixel, adjust motion blur, add 3D layers, and sync everything to music. You can even write expressions, which is like giving the animation its own logic. Want text to bounce based on sound levels? After Effects can do that, and a whole lot more. So yes, CapCut lets you animate with keyframes fast and easy. But After Effects lets you do animation that can go on a Netflix show. It just depends on how deep you want to go. Now let's talk about masking, something that's usually seen as an advanced feature. What surprised us most is how CapCut handles this. You can mask out areas with just a few taps. Want to blur the background around a person? You got it. Want to make glowing outlines around objects using duplicate layers and masks? Yep, possible. And it's quick. No manual rotoscoping needed. But here's where After Effects really flexes. Masking in AE is precise. You draw custom shapes, feather the edges, and keyframe those shapes over time. Want to cut someone out of a moving background? AE has rotoscope tools that track it automatically. Plus, you can mix masks with effects, with motion tracking, with 3D layers. The possibilities are endless. CapCut gives you enough for cool social edits. After Effects gives you the kind of control needed for cinema scenes. 
Both are strong, but one is fast while the other is deep. Everyone loves effects. They're what turn normal footage into something you want to watch twice. CapCut keeps it fun with trending filters and ready-made effects. You want VHS vibes, TikTok-style flashes, or animated emojis? It's already there. And you don't have to build anything. It's just tap, apply, done. After Effects doesn't hand you trends on a plate, it gives you the tools to build them. Not to mention, there's a massive plugin market that expands what it can do even more. So if CapCut gives you effects like stickers, After Effects lets you design the sticker factory. Now let's talk text. Because in video, how your words show up can totally change the vibe. CapCut comes loaded with text animations. Whether it's typewriter style, bouncing effects, or glowing text, you can add it with one tap. And it works perfectly for subtitles, intros, or Instagram captions. Super quick, and it looks trendy. Over and after effects, text isn't just text, it's a canvas. You can animate every letter, track it to motion, sync it with audio, even turn it into a particle system. So for fast, clean captions, CapCut's got you. For custom kinetic typography and cinematic text effects, that's where After Effects steps in. CapCut jumped ahead here. It's got automatic captioning, lip-syncing features, AI avatars, and smart cutouts. You can remove backgrounds, replace skies, After Effects. The built-in features are powerful, like content-aware fill for removing objects, but not as plug-and-play as CapCut's. So if you want to edit smart, fast, and on your phone, CapCut has the edge here. Once you're done editing, it's time to share. CapCut shines here with presets for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. You just pick the platform, and it exports in the right resolution, ratio, and size. You can even publish straight from the app. With After Effects, export settings are deep and customizable. You get full control over bitrate, color profiles, and file types, but it's not simple. Beginners usually need a guide just to get clean output. It's designed for broadcast quality projects, not just social clips. If speed and simplicity matter more than technical settings, CapCut nails it. If you need ultra-clean 4K exports with Pro Codex, that's After Effects.